very interesting that cow tongue here. So yeah, so here I am. I'm feeling a lot better since, you know, last time. Like, I think it's just like, it's not that I was having a bad day. I just think like, I'm trying like with time and just looking at stuff, you know, you kind of evolve and stuff like that, you know, and just kind of take your day, day by day. You know, every day is a good day. You just have to see it just like a normal day. Cause life itself is very shitty, but it's also very rewarding. So I hope wherever you are, you're having a good day. I'm not gonna go and babble on too much about myself because it's just kind of personal and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you're having a good day. I hope, you know, the sun is shining, you know, I get to go out and I pour myself some more tea. I'm getting low on my uh, supply here. Yes, yeah, so I'm drinking Arizona tea because it's fucking hot out. It's not hot right now, but it's getting warmer and warmer and warmer as we speak. I gotta recharge. Yep, different camera. Because on a different laptop, MacBook Air. Talked about it in another video. So yeah, let's get an attention out. Of course, I'm sitting at my desk here. I've been doing some music. Musica. I have like a weird, like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a weird, like, red spot right there. It's like a, I think I might have gotten a paper cut or whatnot. But it's like red and I just don't know if that's there. It's weird. So yeah, let's get to it. Think of an intention, whatever you want clarity on, whatever you want, like, any sort of uh, advice on, or what's going on in your life right now. Cardi, 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 cardi. Pick a card, pick a card. Oh shit, six Virgo. Someone's in like contemplation mode. Nine Sagittarius. I think this had to do with a breakup, to be honest. Like we have five Leo and one Aries. Fire energy, like holy shit. Passion. But I think this had something to do with the breakup. Automatically. Son of a whore. I sense someone's very mad, overthinking things. Three Gemini, communication. Somebody doesn't want to talk to somebody, but somebody does. Let's get the clarification on the Gemini card. I also get third party. So maybe there was some third party involvement that caused this breakup. Maybe you had feelings for someone, or they had feelings for someone. Take what resonates, you know. They had feelings for someone in a relationship while they were in a relationship. And I feel like that probably caused issues in the relationship and a lot of insecurity. But I also get the word self-healing. So I sense somebody wasn't really heal Ow. Hurt my knee. But I sense someone wasn't really healing properly with this person. Like, I sense someone was going through some bad times. But either way, they still loved this person that they were with. But there was, like, this, there was something with complicated feelings, something with personality differences that could be, maybe, I get the word selfish. So maybe you felt that they were selfish or they were, or they felt you were selfish or vice versa. But I sense, like, you both were in this very selfish energy where you both had two ideals of how this relationship would go. Like they had their own ideal, you had your own ideal. Like maybe they were very like, I wouldn't say controlling, but very manipulative and kind of wanting things done their way. And you were also the same way as well. Maybe they had you overthink a lot. Like I sensed a lot of anxiety. So maybe they kind of kept you on your toes a lot and made you not feel like you are in a good place sometimes but I, I do sense like a lot of self-healing that had to happen and that's the reason why this breakup occurred was because 
you know, I just sense someone wasn't giving somebody the time of day for healing, or maybe it was both on both parts, where there was no healing to be involved in this relationship. I also sense the words, I don't care. So maybe you felt that they didn't care enough about you in certain situations, or they felt like maybe you felt that they didn't care about them, like that you didn't care about them, like vice versa, take what resonates. But I also sense too, like this kind of half full, half empty, like you always felt like there was not really much fulfillment in the relationship. But I sense what really took a damper in it was is that there was a lot of self-healing that needed to be done in this relationship uh, on both parts, could be both parts, maybe one part, but I sense like someone was, was going through a very dark night of the soul or was going through a very tough time and the other person was giving it their all and the other person wasn't receiving it and giving it back. So I sense there was a lot of, what's the word? There was a lot of inconsistency in this relationship. It's hot as balls in here. Let me open up the fucking thing. It's hot as fucking balls. It's hot as nuts. A Satan's crash in my fucking room. Don't worry, it's not anything satanic. I noticed when I opened the door, like, it's just because it's a shitty lock, it, like, opens up. So there's my trash can over here. No issues, just ADHD thoughts here. ADHD behavior. We all know I have fucking ADHD. We all know I have ADHD. Anyways, so yeah, I sense there was not a lot of healing, self-healing, a lot of happiness, self-fulfillment. You get the word self-fulfillment, or you constantly felt like, a draw towards somebody else like I sense that that could have been an issue too where you felt like you were with the wrong person but you were only with this person just ideas because you were already with this person like maybe you've known this person for a very long time maybe you've met them in passing maybe they were in a relationship and you were in a relationship or you were single or they were still in a relationship or whatever it was but I sense that like they someone Possibly both was in constant set of relationships and I sense somebody didn't know how to be single So I sense It could be you it could be them, but I have a feeling that was more of your Feelings that caused the breakup like that said hey, we need to like break up Like it could have been an argument of some sorts But I sense that like you were the one to say hey like I'm just not feeling like I can give 100% in this relationship anymore because I'm just not feeling like we're right for each other. Like I'm sensing a lot of personality differences and stuff like that. I sense one person is on a different page than the other. It could be both. Um, whatever it is, like I do sense that this breakup didn't end mutually. I sense that it blew up in an argument and you know, someone cut somebody off. Um, I do sense that. Maybe even blocked them. I just sense cut off for some reason. I get the words, I'm living my best life, so maybe they're, someone's on a beach somewhere, or someone's doing stuff somewhere, you know, saying how they're having a good hell of a time, and the other person's like, I don't care, I'll just work, you know? Fuck it, I don't care. The, the biggest thing of winning a breakup is not by not being bothered, or not by showing off how good you are. The biggest way of winning the breakup is realizing why the breakup occurred, what could have you done now, not then, what could have you done now, now that the breakup has happened, now that the relationship is over, what, like, it's kind of like, because like a breakup is kind of like dissecting something, so like, the first thing is, is obviously, okay, the breakup happened, like, this is how I process breakups, and like, I feel like this is like a winning method here, the first thing is, is that whether or not they did it, whether or not you did it, the first thing is to assess your emotions. How do you feel about it? Because the worst thing you can do in a breakup is just repress those emotions, you know? Like, if you feel sad, feel fucking sad. If you feel angry, feel fucking angry. But um, once you get to that phase of like, okay, I'm angry, I'm sad, not to act out in your feelings, but also to like, reassess your feelings in, a, in more of a uh, comforting way like 
I try to say, like, resuscitate your feelings as if your friend was going through that breakup. So, like, find ways to comfort yourself and to better your mental well-being throughout, you know, assessing the breakup and stuff like that. Because, like, the hardest thing is, is that in a breakup, like, you always want to blame somebody for the break. Like, you always want to blame something or somebody on a breakup instead of realizing that breakups happen, things occur, you know? And, like, I'm, obviously, I'm, I'm single. I've been single. And, you know, like, I talk to, you know, people and stuff like that in relationships and stuff. And, you know, people go through breakups. They give me advice. Um, I've given them tons of advice. And, like, the, the biggest thing is, is that, like, they ask me, you know, how would you feel? I just feel you know like there's no correct way to feel after a breakup the only way that you could process the breakup is just by mentally processing it mentally 11 11 came on the screen mentally looking at it from a perspective of an outside perspective and the reason why i say that because like when you look at it personally like our emotions get in the way of you know feeling it, processing it, and there's been so many times, you know, where, like, if I've broken up with someone, and they're mad at me, or they're upset with me, and I lash out on them, or, like, I don't really care about it, or, like, vice versa, when somebody breaks up with me, and I'm really upset about the breakup, and I just lash out, and stuff like that, like, obviously, like, emotions get in the way of a lot of our thinking, um, but the biggest thing is, is that, like, like, if you feel like someone's not treating you right, like, in in the relationship and it was just abrupt or ended, just cut it off. Explain to them that, like, this is, you You deeply hurt me. You deeply res disrespected me. Um, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to engage in this unhealthy pattern of behavior. You know, I'm very disappointed. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, it's not right between us, you know. And like reassess it. like if somebody comes back to you after the breakup and, and wants to talk about it, resuscitate, you know, like because like those angry texts that you get from your ex, like oh you'll never find somebody else like me, blah blah blah, like those angry filled texts and stuff like that. And when somebody hangs up on the phone with you abruptly, or starts talking to your friends, or their friends, or making you feel like a bad guy and stuff like that, the first thing that you need to do is set your boundary, you know. Um, cause it's hard to be with somebody, um, who wants to poke at your boundaries. And now I get to the part of what I was originally talking about. Cause like that is like a whole other ball game than the actual breakup of a relationship, but, um, resuscitate your feelings. So like understand that it's perfectly normal to feel a certain way after a breakup. It's perfectly normal to feel sad, to feel depressed, to feel angry, to feel even relief, you know? Cause like breakups there's relationships there's no such thing as one same relationship you know everybody they're all different people different relationships different circumstances and then once you're able to resuscitate your feelings dissect what happened that made the relationship go sour or made it end the way it did end and the usually and like i didn't understand this at first but like the thing is is that like you have to realize that a relationship is never 100% your fault or their fault. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, like, for example, like, they may not be in the right headspace for a relationship. They may not be in the right mindset or the right circumstance to actually have a relationship. And it's not your fault that they're unable to navigate a relationship and like things happen things life now obviously there are those relationships where like you know they grow apart and you know and that's like what really sucks like you lose that spark but there's also relationships too that like kind of a uh, like kind of uh, end really badly whether it be cheating whether it be um, lying manipulation and stuff like that and like the first thing that you always want to do is blame yourself 
or blame others or something like that but the biggest thing is blaming yourself like the one thing that uh, really is a big comfort for me is that don't automatically go to blaming yourself saying that you did everything wrong you did this wrong you did that wrong because like it's like the whole idea of rejection you know like when a relationship goes sour and someone breaks up with you it's a whole idea of like i'm not good enough you are good enough you know there's nothing wrong with you i mean obviously people do have things wrong with them but there's like you can't blame yourself 100 percent. like the immediate thing that you want to do when somebody breaks up with you is blame yourself you know or cry or be upset that you did something wrong you know and like a lot of people like to blame the other party for the breakup of the relationship itself and blame them and, and chastise them and stuff like that and that's like where anger fuels our logical thinking you know like if somebody cheats well they may have an insecurity in themselves on the reason why they cheated so it's not your fault Yes, it's their fault for cheating, it's their fault for going astray, but there could be some sort of mental, you know, dissociation or, or mental, um, you know, insecurity that they have that they need to work for and work to better. You know, like, I know a lot of people are going to be all up in arms when I say that, but like, never blame yourself, never go to blaming somebody for anything when a relationship happens. And also, too, like, in the terms of blaming yourself, do not blame yourself. You know, don't take rejection as it's something that I did wrong. It's just simply that it wasn't right or it wasn't the time or things aren't meant to be. That, because, like, once you realize that, you know, once you dissect it and accept the fact that things aren't meant to be, then you're able to accept why the relationship occurred the way it did or why it happened. And, you know... People are born on this earth and shit like that and, you know, there are people who aren't right for each other and that's normal, that's fine, you know? Does it suck? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, like, people are people that are just living their lives. Another thing is, is too, is, like, try not to nostalgize, nostalgia, whatever it is. You know what I mean. But try not to idealize the breakup or the relationship in general because there were faults or there were warning signs that either you ignored or the other party ignored when and when it led to the breakup. You know, there were warning signs there that showed a decline of the relationship. And just be open to that because like when you dissect that, you're open to that now. So yeah, like I do sense that you're blaming yourself a lot for this breakup or they may be blaming you. Like, I sense, like, a lot of immaturity in this moment, in this energy. And I sense somebody just wasn't ready to give it their all because they got shit going on. Or somebody just didn't accept the fact that, you know, they need to be working hard in this relationship. I'm the one doing this, you need to do that. Which, yeah, like, a relationship should never be... I believe a relationship should never be 50-50. Some days it's 80-20, some days it's 40-60, and some days it's like 70-30, you know? I feel like a relationship should never be 50-50, but as long as it's equal, like, equalize itself out at the end of the day, where both parties are trying their best in their efforts, then, you know, that's harmony right there. And that's 100% effort right there. Um, yeah, so I sense that that could have been happened. I do sense immaturity. I sense through this breakup someone's being very immature about it. I do sense that there was immature energy going on in this breakup. In this relationship. What's happening? Two Taurus. So yeah, I have seven Libra and two Taurus. Air and Earth. So like maybe you guys were at a lot of odds with one another. But I do sense that like what you want to do is try to work towards stability. Or I keep hearing people say like well don't focus on the breakup focus on yourself focus on what you can do better for yourself but I feel like maybe some really angry words were said or are being said maybe talking shit and like the best thing you could do when somebody's talking shit is just close the door you know close the door do something different walk away 
Like, don't allow that anger to consume you. Set your boundaries. Tell them, I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. This is the reason why. And then shut the door. That's usually what I do. When I feel like someone's violated my boundaries or wasn't asked to me or blamed me for something or is trying to blame me for something, just say, say your piece, shut the door, walk away. If they respond, then they respond. If they don't respond, then they don't respond. But their response, whether whatever it is, should not affect you at the end of the day. Like, obviously it will affect you, but it shouldn't. Like, just don't pay attention to it. Block out the noise. So let's clarify the two Taurus. Stability working towards... I do sense single life. I do sense maybe there is some... Like, I, I don't know why, but I get this feeling of somebody wanting to reach out to somebody. Heart. Boom, 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 boom. Or cancer. Someone, maybe you're assassinating the uh, situation with family. Getting advice. Ten. Capricorn. There's a lot of shit that you need to get rid of. There's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes that you need to work on. So let's, let's clarify that here. I'm getting two cards popping out. I just want one. I just want one, goddammit. Give me one. I'm gonna choose this card. Here's my battle card. Five. Leo. Ego, liveliness. Like, I, I get the words I want to feel alive again. So I think it's like yourself. Like, you want to do something differently now. Alright, what's going on? What's going on with the five Leo? Why do you want to reach out to someone? Who do you want to reach out to? Okay, you just get this weird feeling that somebody wants to reach out to somebody. Eleven. Aquarius. Clarify that Aquarius because I sense somebody wants to reach out and make amends with somebody. Eleven. Scorpio. Not eleven. Eight Scorpio. Uh, I said somebody wants to reach out for somebody, maybe make amends with somebody. I get the words, can we at least be friends or can we try to be friends? Eight. Ooh, we got the compatible energy of, well, the opposite energy of water and fire now. Scorpio and Aries. So I sense that like, you do go through this back and forth, or somebody goes through this back and forth on reaching out to somebody. Um, wanting to talk things through, talk your feelings out, um, explain how you're feeling. This impulsivity to reach out, or this passion to reach out to somebody, overtakes you quite a lot. Twelve. I sense that you fantasize about reaching out to them, talking to them, explaining where your mindset is. Explaining how you are, asking them. Like, I sense, like, somebody wants to know how somebody is. So, like, I sense somebody wants to do a random ass, you know, text or a random ass phone call to somebody. I don't really picked up clock. But, um, I sense just somebody wants to talk to somebody about something. Could it have been that third party? I don't know. I just a tarot reader, you tell me. But, yeah. Ooh, seduction. So, oh, oh, the five. Third party interference. Oh, so maybe it was this third party in this relationship. Hook up. I get the words hook up. Somebody you hooked up with maybe before you want to talk to? Oh, yeah. Addiction. Codependent relationship has a block. Ascending. So I do sense that you want to talk to them maybe about how toxic this relationship is was with their party like with their person that they're with how they felt controlled how you felt possessed or um restrained in terms of this relationship like you felt like they had you on like a a string like a chain like you kind of want to tell them how you like you want to give them an update on how you've grown out of that you know like how you've grown out of that addictive behavior how you're growing out of that addictive behavior and focusing on yourself. 
you know, it's best to be alone with your thoughts than be with someone who doesn't give you the time of day to talk about them. And since that was a, a big issue here too, palm tree stability. Tournaments, like, I feel like you got a lot of shit going on after this breakup. And you're just trying to kind of reassess the tapings and just kind of strengthen um, your own mentality. Because I feel like your mentality's been way off. Yeah. Stability, kisses. I feel like you're giving and receiving affection. Like, maybe you're going to tell them how they get soulmate energy. Lightning. Yeah, I feel like I get the words impulsion. But I feel like... I don't know if I want to call this impulsive because like I feel like maybe you thought about this for a very long time how you would play things out and stuff like that and yeah like I feel like you want to tell them how you feel um, in terms of like you know I'm sorry that this happened this happened this happened you know I do care about you a lot you know, if you still want me in your life, that would be cool. If not, then that's great. But I also sense, like, even if you don't do this, I do sense that there is a big want to do this. Okay, now, soulmate energy. Like, you just feel drawn, connected with this person. Where you want to talk to them. Yeah. Relationship is over. No second chances. Growth and change in your life. So I think the sudden change of the reason why you want to open up to be honest, was the death of this previous relationship. I feel like it got you thinking and how you wanted to change things. Yeah, I get camera reminiscing. Um, like, how you want to change things for the better. I do sense that maybe with this, like, I don't want to say karmic energy, but this past relationship, I do sense that maybe, you know, there was weddings, you know, union being talked about a lot. Um, but I think it was just like an ideal, like you both kind of like didn't know what to say, didn't know what to do, because you thought the relationship was going good, but it's really, really wasn't. I feel like somebody wasn't being hurt in this relationship, yeah. Karmic relationship. It was like a, kind of like the universe is telling you, time to let go, yeah. I like you, caution. So it could have been just the universe trying to tell you that like maybe it's time to let go. Yeah, you had a lot of passion for this person because I get passion girl with the snake. Like I sense that this person you had a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry with. Like you're, I'm talking about your ex here. And I think that's what kept you going. Like I feel like a lot of us go for the toxic, the, the passionate relationships before a healthy relationship just because the drive. And especially if you have addiction issues or whatnot, you know, addicts will go towards anything fucked up, to be honest, or like a, a relationship that is very much chemistry driven because you're so used to that chaotic energy they let in your life. Like they don't know what healthy is until they finally reach, you know, sobriety and, and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, so let's get this. What do you want to talk about with this person here? outdated thinking conditioning over your head yeah you definitely want to talk about what happened in the past you're playing that tape you definitely want to talk about what happened in the past with them dropping my cards yeah healthy choice i'm guessing i get the words i wish i made a healthy choice you know when it came to just dealing like i wish i didn't treat you so meanly i wish i didn't treat you like an asshole and now, like, what you really are pushing towards is making amends with this person and wanting to, like, just be happy with them again. Like, even if it's just something as making amends with them and talking with them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely do sense that. Um, I do sense that you also want to tell them how much you've grown, how much you've changed, how much you feel as if. You're living a healthier lifestyle now. How much, you know, doing this was a healthy choice for you, the loner. Yeah, I do sense that maybe you want to tell them that you ran away from
from, you know, any sort of niceness or any sort of possibility of relationship with this person because you were simply because you were scared. You were listening to ego, maybe you were listening to people. People were telling you that it's the right thing not to engage with this person. Even though your heart was in a different place. Mirror. And I guess you were kind of mirroring each other. Like, you'd, you'd probably want to tell them how, like, it's just the coincidence that you guys had with one another um, freak, freak you out. Or maybe um, you saw a lot of yourself in them and vice versa and stuff like that. Like, you guys had a lot of similar ideal things happened. What else do you want to say to them? Oh shit, we got the twin flame card. You feel like in some way that they're your counterpart or that you guys complement each other very nicely. I do sense that you want to take them out on a date. Because I get meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan to set a date. I do sense that either if it's not just a romantic date, you do want to take them out and meet up with them again and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, like, I sense that you want to, especially with the boat that I just saw, like, you want to progress things forward. Um, with actually, like, establishing some sort of relationship. Yeah, like, you want to change. Like, you want to make amends. Like, you want to tell them that you want to make amends. Yeah, because I get... Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, and then... The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. So I do sense that you want to tell them the truth of how you feel. And I also sense you want to stop that pattern of abusive behavior that you've, like these abusive cycles that you've put yourself into. Like you want to stop that and you want to make healthy choices, uh, not just in your life, but people around you. Like I do sense that you want to make amends with this person. You know, this person, I think, I'm guessing through the cards, they meant a lot to you. You know, and I do have a sense that you want to tell them how you feel and tell them how much of an impact that they made in your life. Like maybe I sense that I get the words, you made me feel heard when others made me feel lonely. Like I get a little bit, a little bit of that. Like I sense that this person here uh, made you feel less lonely, you know, and like, look, these like kind of pop out again seduction and mirror like I sense that like you had a lot of um, insecurities they probably had a lot of insecurities and you guys just kept you know reflecting back to one another I do sense like it's kind of like a, a standpoint of what happens next and you know what you want to do to happen next like I sense that you really want to go into a union with this person talk to them you know engage with them and just kind of make amends like you really want that because you feel like you fucked things up and you ruined a good relationship with this person by fucking things up. So let me just get one more card. How do you feel about this person? Let's do that. How do they, how about this? How about, how do you feel about this person? How do they feel about you? And then we'll see how that goes. And then maybe we can do mutual energies and we'll stop the video. 333 came on the screen. How do you feel about them? Coffee cup meeting, conversing, saving the moment, feeling a lifted friendship. Yeah, you do want to meet them. How do they feel about you? Break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So they may have a lot of testy feelings towards you because like maybe there's like abandonment sticks out to me. So maybe, like I said, maybe you guys did not have a good, like I sense that there was complications that happened, an argument that happened that maybe you didn't treat this person very nicely. Like, you should have treated somebody. Um, like, you treated them like they didn't matter. Like, whether or not, like, whether or not you like somebody or not, or whether or not, you know, you're friends with them or not, or not, you don't treat people like shit just because others are around you. You know, like, cause then you just act like a dumbass. You know, you look like a dumbass, you walk like a dumbass, you act like a dumbass. You know, like, it's, being a dumbass is when you treat people like shit instead of pe treating people with proper behavior, you know? So they may feel like, like I just sense like they don't really know how I feel like, cause I get the word silent treatment. So maybe you went silent on them um, or whatnot, or maybe like it's just, 
you guys didn't really communicate effectively or something happened where you know it stopped the relationship between you maybe they stopped it maybe you stopped it whatever happened but i sense that there's definitely some mistrust that they have towards you like they're definitely not ready to open up and be very trusting with you um but i do sense that you want to allow to open that came of worms that's actually really cute so the mutual energy between you both is love you have unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction so yeah i do sense that you guys do have love for one another you know you know like they may feel hurt by you and you may feel you know very um vulnerable around them but you guys do have this sense of mutual love and respect and care for one another like i sense like you guys do actually want to reach out to one another want to talk to one another but i sense that this in this scenario i sense you need to be the one to reach out to them and i know that's like a lot of your ego talking and stuff like that you know maybe your friends will approve of it maybe family members whoever maybe even like your you know your lifestyle may not be as matching to your to theirs but like at the end of the day you do both you can't deny that there is some sort of heart with the key like some sort of connection some sort of chemistry that you both have with one another and like it's just a very loving energy you know like where they have respect for you you have respect for them they love you you love them and like it's just so funny because i feel like you bought you both at the time there was all these signs leading up to it, but you both didn't say it. You both didn't want to say, I love you, or that I'm in love with you, um, or that you mean a lot to me. Like, you both didn't confess, you know, how much you both felt with one another out of fear. So it's very interesting that that comes out to play. So what is going to happen? So you, we got how you feel, how they feel, how both of you feel, let me try this. How does the X feel about you guys getting rid of this? Let me get really juicy here. Let me get juicy. So we get to get excitement in the cards reading. Ooh. That's weird. How does the X feel about you guys getting back together? Ooh. I sense not really good. Because I get Cupid's arrow, girl with the snake, I like you. So I, I do sense that the ex isn't really very... I also have breakup separation kind of call out, but I do sense that the ex maybe will not be pleased that you guys are talking whatsoever. Um, and I think it's just because of any lingering feelings they have. Maybe, I just sense maybe that they could be already talking to other people with this Cupid's arrow, have faith that love is coming. Um, yeah, so I sense that maybe they're already weighing their options about it, about, you know finding somebody else. So that's how the ex feels. Let's see, how does your family, friends, outside influence feel about you guys actually talking and conversing and repairing that relationship? How do they feel? Like I said, take whatever resonates. Sometimes cards don't resonate or sometimes the one card fits in a, in a different way than the other, you know? I'm just a simple tarot reader. <laughs> simple tarot. Yeah, I think you guys, like, I think they feel like you guys need to kind of talk things out or, like, you can't keep running from things. It's time that you guys talk about something that you need, that you guys need to talk. So, yeah, so about how they, your friends and family feel, how they feel, you know, blah, blah. how do their friends and family feel? Let's do that. Let's get really juicy. Juicy. I love saying that. I love saying that word. It just brings a smile to my face. Juicy. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, la, 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 la. They may feel that you're just kind of in it to hook up with them. That you just want to get into the camps. Try to get 
attraction for me. You know, I do sense that they may feel that you don't have the best intention to align. But what is going to happen? So we got how you feel, how they feel, how you both feel mutually, how the ex feels, how the how your family feels, and how their family feels. So let's get how what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? So I have not today twin flames, but another card wanted to pop out. And I kind of pulled it back in. So clarify the not today and twin flames. What's gonna happen? I do sense that there's a lot of things that need to be kind of in preparation before you guys can talk. And what I mean by that is that there has to be, you have to make sure that you're okay on your side to kind of talk with them. So maybe there's a lot going on. Maybe you need to set a date to talk to them, to reach out to them. And not today. Um, I think that it's not like you don't want to talk to them. It's just that you have a lot going on. Um... But I feel like truth is definitely going to shed to light here. Truth, clarity, revelation, power, protection. Like, I do sense that you both will eventually meet up. But um, it does take some time to heal, self-indulgence, shadow work, self-appreciating, self-work, focus on self. So you have a lot going on that you need to focus on. You know, but I do sense that this overall sadness that because you guys separated, could be mutually, could be you, could be them. I sense definitely your energy where you do miss them. You know, you do miss the randomness of them and the happiness that they gave you. So yeah, so that's my reading. I have to pee now. But uh, I do hope that this helped. And I hope that, you know, wherever you are, you're having a kick-ass day. And, uh, you know, just power through the bad days because there's going to be a lot of them, but there's going to be a lot of good days. Trust me on that one. So yeah, I hope that this helps, and I hope to see you next time, um, and yeah, I'm gonna go pee, because I'm about to pee my pants, and yeah, goodbye, goodbye, how do I stop this?